So my friend, this is Amit, and you are watching my channel, Information and Educational Video. So here I am with the updated marks versus percentile data for all the 12th shift of June attempt of JMEN 2022. I have provided the same same video earlier also, but that was completely based on the student feedback. But now I am here to correct those mistakes. What what has been done in my previous video because that was purely based on the student feedback. As you also know, every student say. My shift was hard, my shift was hard, but some strength were, we are there, those were guided by me, those were having the better concept. So even in the top shift also they said like there, there was some easy question. So after that I provide those video, but now I am having the complete analysis of the original paper, whatever I have got. So after that I am providing you and hopefully this this is the correct and most most updated data of marks versus percentile that you will find on YouTube. So please try to watch this video so that you will get the complete information on the shift of June attempt of JMEN's examination marks versus percentile data as well as I will consider the expected cutoff marks for J advanced category wise for all the category for each shift what will be the expected marks to be eligible for the J advanced exam. So, so if you're first to my channel, please try to subscribe to this channel and I can assure you this is the most updated and most accurate video because, because in this video I have done lots of research and I have put lots of my effort. So please try to like this video, share this video to your friends and please try to subscribe to this channel so that I will get some support from your side. So let's continue this video that is first let's talk about the 24th SIP 1 and SIP 2. So please try to watch the video till the end then if whatever you feel you can do the comment thereafter I will try to provide the clarification there also but please try to watch the video first then try to comment down anything. So here is the marks versus percentile data that is for 24th SIP 1 and SIP 2 both that is for 99.9 .9 percentile SIP 1 is uh, shift 1 marks will be 233 as it was one of the toughest shift in all the all the shift of June attempt and for shift 2 it is 241 because it was a little bit easier shift. So for 99.8, 226 for, uh, for second shift it is 234. And for 99.6 percentile your marks would be 216 or more for shift 1 and shift 2 it is 224. Now if you talk about for 99.4 percentile your marks would be 209 or more in, in the, the first shift of 24 June and in the second it is 216. So now I would like to inform you about the counseling guidance that I will provide you at the time of counseling. So if you want any type of personal mentorship for your counseling that is JOSA counseling that is very important and very soon I will try to provide you the video in which I will talk about the colleges that is government college that you can get at very low score of JEE mains and all those private colleges also I will provide in a separate video that take very less fee on the placement and all the academic academics are very good of those uh, of those colleges so please try to subscribe this channel so that, you will, so that you will be getting that video and at the time of counseling that is any counseling not only for josa josa and csm but for any other counseling if you are doing vit triple e manipal a triple e or comet k k set so for everything i will be guiding you if you want you can contact me there is a nominal charge for that so let's continue this video that is uh, that is for 99 percentile your marks will be 193 and 199 that is for shift 1 and shift 2 for 98, 172, 177 and for 97 it is 156, 162 and for 96, 142, 148 and for uh, 95 it is 127 and 134 and for 93 it is 116 and 121 marks that is for shift 1 and shift 2 and for 90 percentile 97 and 102 marks will be required for shift 1 and shift 2 respectively and for 85, 90 and, 80, uh, 90 and 96 and for 80, 84 and 89 now if you talk about for 75 percentile 78 and 83 marks will be required and for 70 73 and 78 marks will be required for 8 65 there are 68 and 72 marks will be required and for 60 it is 63 and 67 marks will be required and for 50 50 and 55 marks for shift 1 and shift 2 respectively and for 40 it is 34 and 40 marks will be required so this was about the marks versus percentile for shift 1 shift 2 particularly of june 24th examination so now if you talk about the expected cut of marks for j advanced examination so for sip 2 are 92 to 95 for general uh, strength and for sip 2 it is 96 to 98 for ews 65 to 67 for sip 1 and sip 2 it is 71 to 73 and for obc 67 to 70 for sip 1 and for sip 2 it is 72 to 74 and for sc it is 44 to 48 for sip 1 and for, uh, sip 2 it is 50 to 52 marks and for st it is 30 to 32 and uh and for SIP 2, it is 36 to 38 marks. And if you are a PWD, I can assure you, if you have solved any one question in the examination in any SIP top J means, then you will be eligible for J advanced examination. It is as simple as that. So this was about the June 24 SIP 1, SIP 2 complete data that is marks versus percentile as well as the as well as the expected cutoff marks for J advanced examination. So now I will talk about the June 25. 
So here is June 25, shift 1, shift 2 data that is marks versus percentile and expected cutoff for J advance also I will talk later in this video. So for 99.9, shift 1, 237, shift 2, 243 marks. And for 99.8, 230, 236 marks. For 99.6, 220 and 226 marks. And for 99.4, 211 and 216 marks. And for 99, 196 and 200 marks. And for 98, 175 and 178 marks. And for 97, it is 159, 165 marks. And for 96, it is 145 and 150 marks. That is for SIP 1 and SIP 2 respectively. So I'm again telling you the previous video that I have provided that was based on the feedback of the student but now i am having the complete information of the paper all paper i have checked and reviewed all the thing and after that i am providing you the complete information and hopefully this will be the exact data and i can assure you so this, this is, is the problem. most accurate detail that you are getting for marks versus percentile data and for all the shift i am talking about that is the detail from 40 up to 99.9 percentile so next if you talk about for 95 131 134 marks will be required for 93 120 and 124 marks will be required and now i would and like to inform you again that is for any counseling guidance you can contact me through instagram or whatsapp number it is not limited to only josa and csep but for other counseling other entrance exam also so that you can get better college at low percentile or lower score also and if you are if you have appear in other entrance exam i will be guiding you for that also there is a nominal charge for that so if you want you can contact me so that i will be guiding you for everything until you get into the final college that uh, according to your expectation and the branch that you are expecting because that is also very important thing so so now if you talk about for 90 percentile 100 and 103 marks for 85 92 and 96 and for 80 it is 86 and 90 for 75 81 84 and for 70 75 and 78 marks and for 65 69 and 72 marks and for 60 63 and 66 marks and for 50 it is 49 and 55 marks and for 40 it is 37 and 42 marks so this was about the 25th shift uh shift one shift two uh detail that is marks versus percentile now i will talk about the minimum marks that you need to have in, or, uh, in order to eligible for the j advanced examination for all the category but before that i would like to request you again please try to subscribe this channel so that i will get some support from your side and i will continue to provide you all the information about everything not only about j means and j advanced at the right time in the same channel so please try to subscribe so next if you talk about the expected cut of j advance for general 95 to 98 and 100 and 102 for uh, shift 1 shift 2 respectively for ews 66 to 70 for shift 1 and shift 2 69 to 73 and for obc 68 72 uh, 68 to 72 that is shift 1 and shift 2 71 75 now if you talk about for sc category 44 44 to 46 for shift 1 and for uh, shift 2 48 to 50 and for st it is 32 to 35 and uh, and that is for SIP 1 and for SIP 2 it is 35 to 37. As, as I say WD you will be eligible for J advanced examination if you have solved any question. So this was about the June 25th SIP 1, SIP 2 complete detail that is marks versus percentile as well as well as the expected marks that is the cutoff marks for J advanced examination. So now so, I will talk about the 26th June. So here is the 26th June SIP 1, SIP 2 complete detail that is marks versus percentile and later I will talk about the cutoff marks for J advanced as well. So for 99.9, 235, 246 marks will be required for SIP 1, SIP 2 and for 99.8, SIP 1, 228, SIP 2, 239 and for 99.6, 219 and 230 marks and for 99.4, 210 and 221 marks and for 99, 195 and 206 marks and for 98, 174 and 185 marks and for 97, 158, 171 marks and for 96, 144, 157 marks and for 95, 129, 140 marks and for 93 it is 117 and 128 marks and for 90 uh, it is 99 and 109 marks and for 85 92 and 102 marks so now uh, so before going forward for this video i would like to inform you i have already provided lots of information video that is for nit cutoff triple it gft and other entrance exam other counseling also you just need to go to the playlist of the same channel and there you will find different type of videos so that you can estimate yourself which type of college you are going to get this year for your uh, admission and for that if you need complete and personal guidance you can contact me through instagram or whatsapp number but if you need that then only because there is a nominal charge for that if you don't if you just want to ask one question you can ask in the comment section i will surely reply there so now continue the video that is for 80 86 and 96 for 75 80 and 88 and for 70 74 and 81 and for 65 uh, 68 and 76 and for 60 percentile 61 and 71 marks will be required and for 50 uh, it is 52 and 63 
and for 40 it is 36 and 45 marks will be required that is for sip 1 and sip 2 respectively now if you talk about the expected cutoff marks for j advance for general 95 to 98 for sip 1 for sip 2 it is 104 and 106 marks and for ews 67 to 69 and for uh, sip 2 it is 75 to 77 for obc 68 to 70 that is sip 1 and for sip 2 76 and 78 and for sc category it is 44 to 48 for sip 1 and for sip 2 it is 55 to 57 marks now if you talk about for st category 34 to 36 uh, for sip 1 and for sip 2 it is 43 to 45 for pwd you, you will be eligible with only one question also so this was about the 26 sip 1 sip 2 complete analysis that is marks versus percentile as well as the minimum marks in order to be eligible for the advanced examination so now i will talk about the 27 sip 1 sip 2 detail so here is the June 27, SIP 1 and SIP 2 marks versus percentile as well as the cutoff data of JE advance also I will talk later in this video. So for 99.9, SIP 1, 244 and SIP 2, 239 and for 99.8, 237, 232 and for 99.6, 226 and 221 marks will be required for SIP 1, SIP 2 respectively and for 99.4, 215 and 210, for 99, 201 and 197 and for 98, 180 and 175, for 97, 164 159 marks will be required and for 96 it is 150 and 146 marks so one more thing i would like to inform you here that is the, the marks versus percentile data is not completely dependent on the toughness of the paper it also depend the, depend on the type of a student appear in a particular sip suppose if every student are having the good concept then in top paper also you will be getting the less percentile at higher marks also but that will not happen every time that is the exception case last year happened in some sip but uh, in, in general marks versus percentile data depend on the toughness of the paper so hope you get my point so let's continue this video for 95 135 131 for 93 124 120 for 90 105 100 marks and for 85 95 and 91 for 80 88 and 85 marks will be required for 75 it is 82 and 78 marks and for 70 it is 76 and 72 marks will be required and for 65 it is 71 and 69 and for 60 it is 65 and 60 and for 50 it is 58 and 55 and for 40 it is 40 45 and 40 marks will be required for SIP 1 and SIP 2 so this so this was about the marks versus percentile of uh, June 27 SIP 1 and SIP 2 now talk uh, let's talk about the cut off marks for the advanced exams so for general 98 to 102 for SIP 2 and SIP, for SIP 2 94 to 97 for AWS 69 to 71 for SIP 1 and SIP 2 65 to 67 now if you talk about for OBC 70 to 75 marks will be required for SIP 1 and for SIP 2 it is 66 and 68 for sc 48 to 52 and uh, for sip 2 it is 44 to 46 for st 37 39 and 34 and 36 34 to 36 for sip 1 and sip 2 respectively and for pwd you if you are getting four five marks then that is enough for j advance so now i would like to introduce the philo app where you can get the solution of all your question doubt or you have problem with any type of concept related to j or neat or boards examination then you can get the solution 24 by 7 with these three easy steps that is first you have to download the philo app in the play store and then you have to do the sign up process using your mobile number and after that take the photo of your question and upload that in the app and after that within 60 seconds you will be connected to the india's best educator in question you want to say that the bulb power is how much bulb is वो 220 वोल्टेज पर ऑपरेट हो रहा है राइट इस बैटरी का जो वोल्टेज है वो आपको गिवन है 220 तो ये आपको सिंपल रिलेशन हो गया यहां पर अब अगर कोई आपको और डाउट है तो बताइए सो विदाउट वेस्टिंग योर टाइम डाउनलोड द फिलो ऐप लिंक इज अवेलेबल इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स एंड यूज द कोड IEB001 यू विल गेट द 10% इंस्टेंट डिस्काउंट सो दिस वाज अबाउट द 27 शिफ्ट 1 शिफ्ट 2 डिटेल नाउ आई विल टॉक अबाउट 28 SIP 1 and SIP 2 detail. So here is the 28 SIP 1 and SIP 2 marks versus percentile later and later I will talk about the cutoff marks for J advance as well. So for uh, 99.9, 232, 238 marks will be required. For 99.8, 225 and 232 marks will be required. For 96, 99.6, 215 and 222 marks. For 99.4, 28 and 215 marks will be required. For 99, 192 and 200 marks. And for 98, 170, 180 marks. For 97 154 165 marks and for 96 140 150 marks for 95 125 132 marks and for 93 114 and 122 marks one more thing i would like to inform you that the variation in marks versus percentile data is more between 60 to 60 to 90 percentile for 85 88 and 95 marks will be required for 80 82 and 88 and for 75 76 and 81 for 70 72 and 76 and for 65 67 73 and for 60 uh, percentile 62 and 68 and for 50 it is 48 and 53 
and for 40 it is 32 and 36 uh, marks that is required for SIP 1 and SIP 2. So once again I would like to inform you at the time of counseling process you can contact me through Instagram or WhatsApp number available in the description box for complete counseling guidance up to your final admission will be done and it is not only limited to JOSA and CSAP counseling but for other counseling other entrance exam also whatever you are doing this year up to your final admission will be done I will be guiding you so if you want you can contact me anytime through Instagram or WhatsApp number available in the description box. So now let's talk about the cutoff marks for J advanced that is relevant to 28th SIP 1 and SIP 2. So here is the information for general 90 to 93 marks for SIP 1, for SIP 2 97 to 100 marks, for EWS 64 to 68 and for SIP 2 it is 67 to 61, uh, 71 and for OBC 66 to 70, for SIP 1 and for SIP 2 it is 69 to 70 marks and for SC 43 to 47 and 47 to 50 marks it is for SIP 1 and SIP 2. Now if we talk about for ST category 28 to 30 for SIP 1 and for SIP 2 it is 32 to 35 and for PWD you will be eligible with 2-3 marks also. So this was about the 28 SIP 1 SIP 2 detail that is marks versus percentile as well as the cutoff marks for JE advance. So now I will talk about the last day that is 29 SIP 1 and SIP 2. So here is the June 29 SIP 1 SIP 2 detail that is the last day marks versus percentile. So here is the information 99.9 .9, 250 252 marks for SIP 1 SIP 2 respectively for 99.8. 243 to 46 marks for SIP 1, SIP 2 and for 99.6, 233, 237 marks and for 99.4, 225 and 228 marks and for 99, 210 and 214 marks for 98, 188, 190 marks and for 97, 172, 175 marks for 96 it is 158 and 162 marks. So once again I would like to request you if you are first to this, this channel please try to subscribe this channel so that I will get some support from your side and please try to like this video, share this video so that every student can watch this video because I have put lots of effort and all the research work for this video so that you can get the accurate marks versus percentile data for June session of uh, JMS 2022. So next if you talk about for 95, 140, 143, for 93, 125, 127, for 90, 110, 112, for 85, 100 and 103 marks and for 18, uh, 80 percentile 90 and 92 marks and for 75, 82 and 85 marks for 70, 76, 79, for 65, 72, 75 and for 60 it is 68 and 71 uh, marks will be required and for 50 it is 55 and 58 and for 40 it is 38 and 40 marks will be required for uh, SIP 1 and SIP 2 respectively. So now if you talk about the expected cutoff marks for J advanced, so here is the information for general 105 to 108 marks as both SIP 2 are similar in difficulty level there will be a little bit different that is 2 to 4 marks but uh, overall that uh, overall the marks will be in the same range that is for general 105 to 108 for AWS 68 to 70 for OBC 70 to 73 for SC 50 to 52 and for ST it is 36 to 38 and for PWD you will be eligible with one or two marks also that is that is 100 percent sure. So this was the complete analysis of all the SIP paper of J mains 2022 June attempt that is all 12 SIP marks versus percentile and the minimum marks in order to be eligible for J advanced examination I have provided you so hope you find this information very useful and it will be 100% true once you get the result you can verify and it is 100% true data because I have put lots of effort and all the research work in this video so thanks again for watching this video please try to subscribe to the channel so that, uh, so that you will get all the update and information in this same channel at the right time thanks.